everybody! Welcome back to Pediatric Therapy Essentials. My name is Dr. Heather Sossaman and I'm a pediatric physical therapist. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about toys, so stick around. Hi everybody and welcome back. Well in this week's video, I'm going to be giving you my top list of toys for kids. And these toys are ones that I found to be tried and true over the years of therapy that really seem to keep kids engaged. And all the toys that I'm going to talk about today, I will leave a link to them in the description box below, or you can head over to my website, pediatrictherapyessentials.com, and find the full list there as well. So let's start off with babies. I'm a mom of three, and I've treated countless babies over the years. And there is one toy that they all seem to love, and that's a mirror. Babies are drawn to looking at the human face, and whether it's your face or their face in the mirror, they seem to think it's wonderful. And so there are lots and lots of different mirrors out there. This one that I've put up on the screen is one by Sassy. That's a toy name that I've used a lot over the years and found their toys of pretty high quality, but it's up to you. You just want to make sure that the mirror is meant for babies, so that if they knock it over or play with it, it's not going to crack or hurt them. These are very soft and flush and babies can do all kinds of things with them. What I like most about mirrors is babies can use it in all positions. So when they're first learning to turn their head back and forth, they can find their own face in the mirror. When they're laying on their belly, it's a great distraction tool to keep them occupied so they can tolerate the position a little better. And as they get older, babies just like to look at their faces and who can blame them? So the next toy I have for you is this pink pig. I don't know what it is about this toy, but kids absolutely love it. I have had this toy, as you can see, it's very well loved, for more than 10 years, and it never seems to go out of style. With kids that are infants all the way through like kindergarten age, they just love this thing. And I think it works well for lots of ages for a few reasons. First of all, the coins inside have these cute little bumps on them. So they're easy for babies to handle, and if they're at that teething phase and exploring things with their mouth, they seem to like the bumps a lot. So if they're not quite able to put the coins in themselves, I just put it in the top like this, and then they're able to use their hand and bang it to make it go in. And I don't have all the lights and bells and whistles on right now, but the little nose makes an oinking sound, and there's lots of songs and number counting on the top. I've had lots of different toys that you can put things in, like a treasure box and all kinds of other stuff. Nothing tops Mr. Piggy. I don't know what it is, but kids just love it. All right, my next toy is pop beads. And I totally forgot and left them at school, so I don't have them to show today. So you'll just have to look at the picture. And I love pop beads because it's a very basic toy. It fits in the hands and it's easy to manipulate for little ones from babies through toddlers and preschool age kids. And it has a lot of benefits. The first one is it's great for problem solving. So kids have to figure out which two ends to put together and it makes a funny popping sound when they do. So they seem to like it. I use it to work on balance. We put the pop beads together and then I have the kids pull them off one at a time, either sitting or standing, and they try not to fall over. So it's a really great and versatile tool, easy to clean, and pretty inexpensive. Okay, next on my list is some kind of toy that kids can bang. And it doesn't have to be this one, although I do like this by Melissa and Doug. They have pretty high quality toys. But the best part about banging toys is that kids learn to coordinate their eyes and their hands to perform a task. And it makes a lot of noise, and kids always like that. Okay, so the next toy on my list is the Gertie Ball. And most of my therapist friends out there are probably pretty familiar with this, but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. So Gertie Balls are great for several reasons. They're really nice and squishy, so they're easy to grab, and they're soft. So if you have a young kid who's working on ball skills, even if they bonk themselves in the face, it's not gonna hurt. And the best part about these balls is that you can let out as much air as you want, which makes it easier to grab. So if you have a child that has movement limitations and they can't quite grab like a playground ball, if you let just a little bit of air out of this, they can usually grab onto it and get to play catch. So I love Gertie Balls. They come in lots of shapes and sizes. This one happens to be glow in the dark, which makes it a little bit more fun, but all of them are wonderful. All right guys, so the next toy on my list is what I call the Zippy Ball. And I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with this, but this is a Zippy Ball. 
So essentially, oh, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> it's a ball with handles on both ends and a string in the middle. And the idea is that two people hold the handles, one on each end, and as you take your handles and spread them apart, the ball zips along the line to the other person. Now, I love this ball for many reasons. First, it's great for the concept of cause and effect. So as I pull my hands apart, the ball does a motion. Second, it's great for strengthening. In order to make the ball move, you have to reach your arms all the way apart, and you can go to the side, you can go up and down. There's all kinds of things you can do with the ball. But I really like the Zippy Ball, and there's a couple of different types out there. This one is all hard plastic, but if you'd like something a little softer, I'll link it in the description box below. Um, there's one that's meant for the pool, so the ball is nice and soft because it's meant to hold water and splash the other person as you zip it along the line. So I love the Zippy Ball. All right, the next toy on my list is magnets. Magnets are a pretty simple toy, but they can do so many amazing things. So whether it's animal magnets or letter magnets or any kind of thing your child is interested in, magnets are a great tool to encourage gross motor skills. So if you put the magnets on this fridge, maybe a little bit out of your child's reach, it'll encourage them to get up on their toes and grab the magnets. If they want a nice quiet game to sit on the floor and play, you can use the magnets on a cookie sheet. So I just think magnets are super fun, creative toy for kids to play with. Okay, if you have a therapist in your life, I hope that they know about squigs, and they probably do, but these toys are amazing. I actually have an entire video on them coming out in December, but I am obsessed with squigs. So these toys come in lots of different shapes and sizes, and they're basically little suction cups, and they will stick to anything. I put them on the floor, I put them on doors, refrigerators, I put them on wheelchair trays. They're just amazing, because you stick them on, and then kids can try to pull them off. <laughs> so it requires definitely some strength and skill, but the way they're shaped and all the little different options of shapes you have, it doesn't matter how much skill a child has in their hands, there's usually one of these that they're able to grab and pull, and I just love them. They can also stick to themselves, and you can make long chains of them and create towers. They're just a really cool, amazing new toy out on the market. And they're by a company called Fat Brain Toys. And again, I'll link it in the description box below. They do make several different sizes of squigs. So this is the average, I guess this is kind of their main squig. They do make a larger one for babies and a smaller one. And they just came out with some that spin and they're very cool too. All right guys, next on my list is Connect Four. And while the concept game of Connect Four is definitely for an older group of children, I found over the years that kids of all ages really enjoy playing this game. They love putting the little pieces in and filling up the rows or making patterns, and it's a pretty cheap and inexpensive game that I always have in my therapy bag. And another thing I always have in my therapy bag is pop tubes. I don't know if you guys have ever played with these, but they are so much fun. So the idea is that you... And of course, they make a really fun noise that kids love, but I use pop tubes to encourage reaching, so if I hold it up high, kids can pull the tube down. Um, I use it for fine motor control and graded control. They're just a super fun, inexpensive toy that most kids really love to play with. And if your kids enjoy the popping sound, they should check this out. I actually use this for myself. This is what I do under the table at IEP meetings when I'm a little antsy. It's basically simulated bubble wrap. So you just push these little buttons in and it makes this wonderfully satisfying popping sound. And so you can just do it over and over again. Every time you pop them, they come out the other side and then you can pop them all over again. So this toy is definitely a fun one. So next on my list is some sort of lacing beads. And they come in all shapes and sizes depending on your child's age. And lacing beads are a great toy to encourage that bilateral control we've talked about, which is both hands working together, and to encourage development of fingers and fine motor control. And depending on your child's age, you can go for the larger beads, which are more easy to handle, or you can go to the Dollar Tree and get some really cute little small beads with pipe cleaners and make bracelets. And if your child's having difficulty with the larger beads on the string, you can also put them on a pipe cleaner. It's just a little bit easier to maneuver the pipe cleaner because it's stiffer than the string. 
Okay, I got two more toys for you and these are definitely both for older kids and they are to encourage outside play. So the first one is the Old Faithful and that's the scooter. I absolutely love scooters. It encourages so many wonderful skills. It encourages your balance, your coordination, it strengthens your glutes, and I could just go on and on and on. But I love scooters because they're low cost, they're small, lightweight, they don't take up a lot of room, and I'm assuming that most of you know this, but they do also have three-wheeled scooters for younger kids. And these scooters provide a great first step in learning how to ride. Okay, last but not least is definitely an odd gift, but my boys adored this thing, and it's called a ripstick. So it's kind of like a skateboard, but you use all of your core muscles and your hip musculature to make it go. And I love it for that reason as a physical therapist. It does so much for your balance and coordination, but it's also really fun. And my kids all had them and they rode them up and down the street with their friends for years. And I just think they're kind of a unique and fun gift. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found a toy or two that might work for someone on your holiday list. And remember, if you want to find any of the toys I talked about today, I've left them all linked in the description box below. If you have any other great toy ideas, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Bye.